going on YouTube? It is your boy TLR World. You dick what I'm saying. You dick what I'm saying. And you guys are watching TLR Plays. It took you a long time, but welcome. In today's episode, you guys, we're going to be playing Peter's house. What's going on in Peter's house? Well, let me tell you. Enter the dark and ominous world of Peter's house, where you play as Steve, a man hired to move boxes for a new owner. As you explore the house, you quickly realize that something isn't right. Hopefully, this is a black man, and this is a short game. <laughs> it's either he's dying or he leaves. It's, there's only two options for us, to be honest with y'all. So, let's get into the video. Okay, got a little retro look going on here. Of course, it's raining. You know what I'm saying? That's always scary. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this this is a man that you see that would be on like UPS, right? Like like that's a that's a, this is a, a I I trust this guy to deliver my boxes. You know what I'm saying? But this nigga this nigga's murdered people. Everywhere this man has delivered He's either A, he's peaked in people's homes, he's done some unforsaken things, and he's definitely murdered. That's a man where it's like, yeah, I have a past of murdering. That's a murderous face, a murderous smile. I don't trust you. But something ain't right about this man. I call it now. Steve. Hello. This is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Peter. Peter's a bad man. That's a bad man. <laughs> Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Why tonight, Peter? Hmm? Seems a little weird. You don't seem right, bro. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job, Peter? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new home, my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Oh, yeah, we're dead. We're so dead. So dead. Can I click it? Okay. We're moving in, y'all. Well, moving out. So, this one says that it must go into the baby's bedroom. Okay, so this is the guy's new house. Very ugly home. I'll tell you that right now. Very ugly home. The baby's room. <sighs> Bro, what is, what is, what? Okay. What in the sacrifice is going on right now? What in the sacrifice is happening? Two, two crosses? You only need one. You only need one cross. But no, two. Where do I put this? On the floor? Got to keep moving box. So you telling me, oh my freaking gosh. All right, well, let's turn that off. Red flag number one. I would have already been out. I would have already left. There would have been no discussion in this. No discussion in this. Okay. So we got a TV that cut on by itself. God damn, that's loud. Damn near scared myself. It has no plug-in, right? So my question was, before I got rudely interrupted, was how did this man move all these boxes by himself, but now he can't move them in the shortest dis distances? Like, nigga, this one says it must go into the living room. Right here, ain't it? Is something going to happen every time I lay a box down? Because I can't take that, y'all. My heart, my heart can't take that. Pay attention to our surroundings. This one says it must go into the baby's bedroom. I don't know. I just feel like when something's wrong, I just get the biggest shivers throughout my whole body, y'all. And like, <sighs> was this box always here? Was this box always here? Don't fucking lie to me. Right? Because you see my finger? Hold on. Something's not right. We need to call the Scooby-Doo gang. 
That's what we need to call. This one says it must go into the living room. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I, I'm fucking losing it. Okay, I'm losing it. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to yell at you. There's a lot's going on. This one says it must go into the bedroom. Okay, so it must be this door. How many doors do we got in this freaking apartment? What in God's name is that? Who the fuck is in there? Hey, buddy. I can't even go in there, y'all. I can't even go in there. One or more boxes may be in the wrong room. I can't leave yet. This is outside, y'all. He's just waiting in the fucking rain. We're screwed. Red flag number two. I would already had my weapon. I would have said, what? Come on, man. Mess with me. And this real quick. Okay, it's the bedroom. Okay, yeah, this guy has a, definitely an obsession with uh, with crosses. So I, I'm expecting one of these crosses to be turned upside down. To be honest with y'all. Yo, how many doors is in this house? Am I playing doors right now? Like, am I playing? The, did I get the wrong title? This one says it must go into the kitchen. Bro, if this is your kitchen... Oh, I'm about to say, what's out here? What's in here? Okay, weird ass bathroom that has no sink or shower. Okay. Is this a kitchen? What the fuck is going on? I should probably hurry up with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. How would you let me interact with it, buddy? We need to figure out what's going on with this. Alright, this whole house seems off. This one doesn't say where it plays. Maybe I should open it. There's a journal inside and a wedding ring. Okay, well maybe we should put it in the bedroom. <clears throat> Reading voice. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all, I've done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loudly. And it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. The death of a marriage. This man killed his wife. For a dog, bro? Was it worth it, my nigga? For a dog? Don't get me wrong, I love dogs, but damn. The death of a marriage. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at the ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Oh, huh. he's powerful. Yeah, it's time to, it's time to go, buddy. Is a man who love to kill animals. You hear that? Bro, there is a man outside the freaking house. Why do we... Can I leave now? He's gone. He, he's gone. Oh my God, it's him. My guy can bang this man. Pause. My guy can whoop this man, okay? I move boxes for a freaking living. <laughs> you think I'm honestly scared of a little dweeb who killed his wife? Okay, anybody could do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, the more boxes I put away, the more scared I get. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I'm getting scared as fuck, okay? But just off of what I've already experienced right now, this is obviously a setup, right? I, I'm not, I'm not tripping. I, I know y'all think the same thing. I'm not tripping. This is obviously a setup. Literally, I'm moving these boxes like four inches away from each other. Like, come on. This is like a, a 200 square foot house. 
Like, bro, Jin clearly set me up to die. He go, he gonna kill me. I don't know how he gonna do it, cause there's three boxes here. This doesn't have a. Oh god, we have to open up another box. Jin, you could have buried the knife or something, but no, you keep the knife. You keep the weapon with with two. Okay, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yo, I'm just trying to figure out what makes sense and what don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's see what this says. The Betrayal of a Friend, Part 1. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. He was your friend. He was your friend. He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. Who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. What the fuck anime is this man in? What anime are we, are we watching right now? This nigga gains strength through killing people? You see how powerful he was in, them, in, in that jail cell and getting your, getting your ass clapped. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. But I knew I couldn't take any chances. The Portrayal of a Friend Part 2. Jit writing stories. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead... I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp after crumbling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Well then leave, my nigga. Like, I don't even think you belong in the world. That's just, that's just, that's just how I feel. I'm really scared to close this box. Because I really do feel like he's behind me. Oh, God. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Vibing. Vibing. I think his name's Steve, right? Steve, you hell. No cap. You literally killed him for no reason. Holy fucking shit. How the fuck is the ceiling glowing? Bro, I'm a grown-ass man. He was not going to sit here and, and, try to, and try to punk me. This one must go into the dining room. Like, he really... All that work made me thirsty. I should get something to drink before I leave. J we didn't even finish putting the boxes away. This doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. Oh, there's another box to open. Some glasses. Isn't this the glasses that Steve was wearing? If that's his name? I think I'm Steve. I think I'm confusing everybody. The Snoop. Wait a minute. I, I know I should read it, but is this motherfucker writing about me? I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. Oh, okay, he's talking about his sister. I thought he was talking about me. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. The snoop part two. She started getting too close, asking too many questions, in a moment of frustration, I grabbed the heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses fell off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Oh my god, yo. A small freaking victory, bro. You are insane. Yeah, I think we'll just leave that there. All right, well, we're going to go get a drink. We did move quite a few. Could have worked up just a few. Uh... Hmm. I won't mind some of his juice. Y'all hear that? Time to go. All right, no problem. What door is it? All the fucking doors are closed. What door is it? Y'all, I don't remember what door it was. What door is it? The door is fucking locked. Oh, the door is locked. Let's try this one. The door is locked. <laughs> We're fucking dead. Every single door is locked. This doesn't say anything. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Scared the shit out of me, bro. All right, let's re let's read it. The Vanishing Act Part One. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister was missing. 
My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer, so I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I too was a victim, that I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. What is this man talking about right now, y'all? The Vanishing Act Part 2. I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed the window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind along with some other personal touches to make it seem more convincing then. I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I do not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. Freaking lunatic. Oh God, that's disgusting, yo. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was this door always like this? Hello? Where, where am I? What the fuck is going on, y'all? I'm sorry for my vulgar language. What is going on? Oh, I don't like this. Why does this... How did this apartment get so big? Why is this... Why is this hallway so long? Oh, yeah, man. Nigga, we losing it. I can't even run. <gasps> Hello? Shit, the lights are out. There, I can at least see where I'm heading now. Bro, what the fuck was that noise? Oh. Oh. We're being possessed. Possessed. We're being haunted. This man's dead, y'all. This shit sounds like it's outside. Why y'all gotta disrespect Jesus like that? Oh, oh God in heaven! Oh! Did you guys see that shit? Oh hell no! Hell no! Oh my God! We can at least get a drink. There's a gross smell coming from inside. I don't dare to open it. I, it's like it's like it's coming from outside. All right, let's open this door. Huh? Hello? All I wanted to do was deliver by in the kids' room, in the kids' room, well. Bro, turn the hell off, please. How many crosses do we need to disrespect? I get it. You're satanic, bro. Golly. There was never a baby, was there? Another long haul, huh? Oh, we, we drunk some we drunk some funky juice, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Let's. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got some space. Hello. What do you want from me? Your job was to just move the damn boxes, not to open them. Oh, Steve. I, I wasn't expecting you to come home so early. Ah. Uh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, y'all. That <laughs> uh, boy Steen on pop my ass. I was a little confused. I don't know if it's I don't know if I was being possessed or if he was just killing people. Like that that's what it looked like. But obviously it was like crosses upside down, but he seemed like he was I seen that nigga in the beginning of the game. You know what I'm saying? So I already knew what was gonna happen. It was gonna be him, but got confused with a little possession shit. You know what I'm saying? Kinda threw me off. But shout out to GZKE uh, for making this game. You did an amazing job. It was very scary, very spooky, bro. So shout out to you. If you guys would like to play this game yourself, the link will be in the description if you guys want to try that out. You know what I'm saying? If you guys did watch all the way through, thank you so much for you guys for watching. I highly appreciate y'all. Um, if you do want to become a part of the TLR gang, you did what I'm saying, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? If you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure you hit that like button. It helps a lot, you know what I'm saying, to push this content out for the algorithm to, you know, just do what it got to do so it can reach all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? As always, you guys, thank you guys for watching. I love y'all.